The worst thing about this video is how much effort I'm going to put in versus how disappointing it's going to be. So I got one of these new Game Boy Pocket backlight kits. Uh, this one was sent to me by Retro Game Repair Shop. Uh, they usually hook me up with these sort of things. Um, check them out. Really good store. I genuinely recommend them and not just because they send me free stuff, but you know, they're good customer service, so on, etc. But anyway, I have no idea if he's actually going to be regularly stocking these kits. I know he got about 20 or so of them in. Um, and this is what you get. You get the LCD and the uh, the conversion PCB with the ribbon cable and some foam adhesive. Um, this particular kit is for a pocket. I'm not installing it in a pocket in this video. I want to do some other tests because of how absurdly similar this LCD and this kit is to previous versions of this. Of, uh, oh, of course he's jumping on things. But, um, so for comparison's sake, here is the original version of the uh, all-in-one kit for Game Boy Advance consoles here. You can see how much bigger this new screen is. It's, uh, it's exciting. Um, the PCB itself, I have some. I should have got it ready. Because, you know, planning in advance for videos, that's a... Uh, that's a skill in itself, right? That's not it. Oh, I thought that was it. I'm sorry. Here it is. So I have this bag. Um, oh, but these are... These are the wrong brand. I think. Yeah. These are all the uh, com com competitors' version of the kit. But you'll have to take my word for it, or you'll just have to wait until I take apart one of the other consoles and take a look. So I am assuming that this works. I haven't actually tested it out yet. Literally just got the package, just got it unboxed. Um, but according to some professionals on the internet, this is the same protocol, this LCD is the same protocol as the smaller version. So in theory, it's plug and play. And that is supported, that theory is supported by the fact that it's the exact same connector. Um, most of the specs on the LCD are the same. And even the PCB adapter is identical to previous iterations. Um, with one exception, this one does have GB 2.6 label. Uh, but anyway, without further ado, let's test out some things. Um, first and foremost, I already know it's perfectly compatible with the Game Boy Light, so if you have one of these with the bum screen, you can swap one of these kits in. Um, not gonna bother testing it. it. It works. If it works with a pocket, it works with the Game Boy Light. That's just, it's the exact same screen. Uh, what I want to know is whether it works with a Game Boy Color and a Neo Geo Pocket Color. Right now, there is a Game Boy like original Game Boy kit um, and a Game Boy Pocket kit. The manufacturer of this, ah, excuse me, got the hiccups, of this kit says the Game Boy Color version is coming in October, but ain't nobody got time for that. I'm way too impatient for that. I gotta see it in a Game Boy Color and I gotta see it now. Now, unlike the previous iteration of this all-in-one kit, the install does require a little bit of trimming. A little bit. But nothing too bad. Honestly, uh, it, it, it honestly seems like, on paper, it's the best kit right now, by far. Or at least it has the potential to be the best kit. Got to actually test it before <clears throat> corroborate. The oh shit! I forgot this Game Boy had the really crappy power switch. Okay. So we're gonna test two things here. First, we're gonna test 
just the screen on this kit and then we're going to test the screen and the new kit on this. I don't think it works. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Someone who I trust said they tested it and said they said it didn't work. So we'll find out. Uh, of course that's coming off. Let me just desolder that. I'm going to save so much hassle by just desoldering it. Come on, are you heated up yet? There we go. And I'm just going to leave that plugged in like any, or on rather, like any responsible young adult. Alright, so set this aside. And I believe this goes with the connectors up. Because it would fold. No? No. I literally just unplugged the screen. It's connector down. Okay. So we go like that. And joining us for the first time on camera is my splendid new, oh, but I need a game first. That will do. So my splendid new power supply here. see down here I know it's kind of small compared to the previous kit that I'm using but this should be much more accurate and much more reliable and much more powerful um, but you see it's putting out 2.4 volts and the Game Boy is drawing nothing right now because the Game Boy is not even on Let's switch it on Nothing but a black screen, but I can hear that the Game Boy booted. I don't see anything on the screen whatsoever. But that's that's not necessarily damning because this is the um, off-brand kit, kit made by the other manufacturer. I'm gonna switch my power supply off instead of my Game Boy because that power switch is kind of sketchy. I'm just going to double check that I didn't do something dumb. Fairly confident I had it right the first time, but because that seems very wrong. But we'll try. Still nothing. Okay. So now let's try. Pop that bad boy out of there. I'll try the new kit that conveniently plugs right in. I said conveniently plugs right in. Come on. There we go. It's a wee bit tight. Okay. 
And here goes nothing. Well, that's not right, but it's working. We're, uh, we're missing a few things. This should be a full color game, I think. Maybe not, hang on. I picked a bad game to test with. Let's try Prism, that's full color. It's definitely not right. But it sorta, kinda works. And for comparison, this is the size of the previous kit. And if that's not doing it for you. This one doesn't have a lens, but that's an OEM Game Boy. Just, just draw lines in your head from the top of the image on this screen. You see, it's bigger than the cutout. No, don't do, no, no, don't step on that. <laughs> you gotta do this, dude. Okay, sorry. So, yeah, a little disappointed in that. Let's try one more thing, though. Um, I need a backlight kit. I hope I have one handy. Give me while I, uh, I'm just gonna pause, I'll be right back. All right, well, somehow I don't have one, so we'll come back to this later. I'll just leave this open. Oh wait, I can leave that on there. Want to detach the screen. So, verdict on the Game Boy Color is it kind of works, but it's definitely not something you want to install at this moment in time. Let's check what I'm sure you're all dying to know, because this one isn't confirmed yet. Neo Geo. That's what I'm dying to know at least. Separate my screws. I fix it in the off chance you're watching, your bits are just barely not long enough to open one of these things. Just throwing that out there. You can make it work, but... It's actually the screwdriver itself that be shorter. So yeah, just, just throwing that out there. Not that I think I'd have someone cool like that watching my videos, but that worked. No, 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 no. Oh, how about that? It's the wrong size, so I have to be very careful.
Ugh, same thing. But this one's actually the right size. Maybe I should just replace all of these with tripoint. Because I actually have a driver that fits. So I'm told that some of these, the speakers aren't glued down and you can just pull them right the fuck out, but mine is, so I have to desolder these wires. Uh, what else do I have to do? I need to pull off this thing. I need to pull off my Neo Geo pocket color. Okay, set this aside. Oh, and in case, in case y'all aren't familiar with this console, this really small screen. This is how big they actually are. Just, just throwing that out there. Big screen, good screen. Okay. nothing. Aww. I see nothing. So yeah, there goes that. just about to say I hear nothing too so I don't know if it's booting but I just remembered I desoldered the uh, speaker all right let's try the adapter board see as you can see exact same fucking layout the only difference is the touch sensor is moved over onto the other side of the board. It's the exact same IC, exact same shape of the board, got the programming pins in the same spot. It's just a later revision, VO2 versus VO5. That's why I was so, uh, so uh, excited about this, so hopeful. So now here's the Game Boy Pocket Board. If it's anything like the Game Boy Color, it'll partially work, but I doubt we'll get that far. Oh! Oh! Hey! <laughs> oh! 
Oh, that's not right at all. Um, let's... Uh, stick a game in, huh? Not Fatal Fury. Just my power switch. So that's not right. Oh, come on. Off. Please. I mean, I guess that sort of makes sense. The Game Boy Color and the Neo Geo Pocket Color, as far as the LCD goes, they're basically identical. The only difference is Neo Geo has a, a few more vertical. That's a darn shame. Pretty cool, though. I mean, I don't see any, like, frame dropping. There's obviously problems. You know, there's like that flickering up at the top, but I think we can, I think we can uh, attribute that to some of the, to the fact that there's a lot of color missing. You know, like all of it. This is also ridiculously hard to play with this with this membrane. <laughs> All right, well, there you go. You don't know until you know, and now you know, so there you go. Oh, you know what? I was about to stop the video, but there's one more thing I have to test. One more. I have so many consoles to put back together after this video. Set that aside. We're going to try this Game Boy Color 2. Now, normally, I'd call it a day. I'd assume it, it wasn't going to work. I tested the other kit. But this Game Boy Color has something unique in it. And by that I mean it has one of Ben Ven's Freckle Shack kits. Now, I know this doesn't work with any of the other kits I've tried so far, but some intrepid youngster linked Ben Ven to the data sheet of this new LCD, and it is literally new. Look at that date code, last month. Um, and Ben Ven's like, oh, shit, that should work with my Freckle Shack. It should be a drop-in. And now, maybe that's true. It, whether it works or not with mine is not definitive because I have a V1 Batch 1 kit, and there have been several revisions since. But we'll try it out anyway. I don't imagine... That much has changed. I, I could be totally fucking wrong, but you know it's worth trying them, all right? I 
the fucking ribbon stuck to the screen. Why would I do that to myself? There we go. Get that out of here. I still think it's absolutely ridiculous that we had to trim our cart pins just because Benvin didn't want to have people fold their ribbons, but I guess that's for another video. No, no, stop stepping on that. I swear the only time it does that is when I'm, well, I guess that makes sense because otherwise I'm on the computer. All right, here goes nothing. And as expected, as promised, there's nothing. Let's, uh. Yeah, it's booted. There's just nothing there. And it's not just that there's no backlight, there's nothing on the screen. The flashlights. And you can see. That it's not just that there's no backlight, there's just nothing. In fact, I think the backlight is actually on. It's hard to tell. Let me Yeah, the backlight's on. Just black. All right, so there you go. I am certainly disappointed. My disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined. Well, I guess I can go install this in a Game Boy Pocket now. BRB.